Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Stanley, or BEST. This is their part number BB852. This is a, um, a hinge that you don't see very often. Or, well, hopefully you don't ever see it often. This is a hinge that's used primarily in detention work. Um, and it's a hinge that is uh, uncommon enough to really never bump into, but solves enough problems where I try to keep a small quantity on the shelf. So here's what a BB-852 looks like. Well, a version of it. There are different versions of the BB-852, what Stanley calls, it's, it's best now, it's just, it's a marketing term, it's a marketing situation. Um, apparently there was a sale and a purchase and companies moved from this ownership to this ownership and Dormacaba was allowed to use the name Stanley for a couple of years. Now every hinge in the world that's been made for the last 150 years that was a Stanley hinge is now a best hinge. It's just marketing, same factory, same people, same quality, same lead times, same inventories, things of that nature. So this is a BB-852, but it's their application A. Application A is specific to the type of hinge uh, that this is. There are maybe five different applications that you can get your hands on when it comes to a BB-852. Um, this is going to be something used, it is out of their detention catalog, so you are going to see, um, I don't see it. I, I sell builders hardware. The world of detention hardware is its own universe. I very rarely need to pull hardware out of that, out of that universe. Uh, specialty, uh, electric locks, heavy duty locks, two inch mogul cylinders. Uh, um, it's basically a mortise mortar cylinder, except the diameter is two inch. And occasionally, a hanging device, but we're not selling this to anyone in the detention industry. Again, everything they do is in their own universe. But you could have a really heavy door, and it just turns out the size, the weight, the particulars of your door happens to match the geometries, the weights, the sizes, the mechanics of, of a prison door. So that's where the BB-852 comes in. Uh, generally, when I see someone needing a hinge like this, we are dealing with an epically heavy piece of welded iron structure, a gate that could be eight foot by 10 foot, and it weighs 1,200 pounds, and they're gonna take four of these, and they're gonna weld it to the uh, gate and then to the jam post. That's where this is used in the BB-852 application A, and I'll show you the different applications, means it is a full surface hinge. You can see from the back side of the hinge that when you lay this flat, it's flat because the bend, the bend or the swag on these hinge leaves is such that it is considered a full surface hinge. Now in your mind's eye, when you think about a full mortise hinge, when you bring the leaves together, like I've done here, there would not be nearly that much gap between the leaves when it's a full mortise hinge. It'd be about a sixteenth of an inch. Well, this is, you know, every bit of three-quarter inch. And that's because the leaves don't have a swag or a bend on them. And it's the way that the leaves are bent in relationship to the barrel is what gives them their identity, whether it be full mortise or full surface or half mortise or half surface or raised barrel or swing clear, um, and, and derivatives of swing clear and raised barrel. There's different types of those ways. And, and, and how they always differ is how the hinge leaf is bent. So this is an application A where it's just full surface. There is no bend on the hinge, it's full surface. If you've ever, and I know that I have, you, you've, you've encountered it, but you probably haven't not, noticed it. Someone's taken a full mortise hinge and used it to surface mount, you know, a wooden fence gate. And I can immediately tell, well, that's wrong. That, it's a full mortise hinge that they've laid flat and screwed to the jam and to the, uh, to the jam post and door. Well, you really want a full surface so that it sits flat when you install it. So that's one. Number two, this application A does not have any holes. There is an application of this same hinge with holes for screws. Okay. Why would you want a hinge without holes? What's going to be an awfully strong way to hang that door with this hinge, it's to weld it. You would need someone who knows how to weld um, in terms of having experience. I know how to weld. I can weld. I've taken class. I've done it for years. Um, 
my Miller, my I, you can't see it, it's behind me. Well, here's the cart. Uh, my Miller 135 is not going to generate enough heat for me to penetrate, um, for me to get this hinge leaf liquefying and its base material liquefying cohesively together so I can weld that. So whoever's going to be welding this is going to know their craft uh, and accustomed to welding thicker materials. So application A is full surface and no holes for screws. Okay. Now this is what's called a 5 by 6 It's the size that these hinges are made in. One thing this shares in common with a builder's hardware hinge is that the height is the first dimension. It is indeed 5 inch. When you lay that hinge open right in front of you, it will measure 6 inch wide. Okay, 6 inch wide. This is a steel based hinge and a prime coat type finish. This hinge can handle an epic amount of weight. It's likely rated and will confirm my memory for 2,000 pounds. Uh, so it is non-serviceable. Uh, I believe you can get through these access holes uh, lubrication into here because you're going to see this material installed in an application where it will need to be serviced. Weighs 5.1 pound each. This hinge weighs over 5 pounds and is one heck of a robust hanging device. We do try to cater or traffic in these odd hinges, whether it be a Harman hinge or like a BB-852 or an inch and a half offset pivot or a center hung pivot that can handle 3,000 pounds. Uh, builder's hardware material that's either larger, like an 8 by 8 hinge, we'll try to keep those. Uh, 6 by 6 hinges, you know, uh, 3 and a half by 3 odd hinges that people may think is just on the shelf. No, Stanley makes a hundred of these a year. Uh, there's not a lot of demand for the hinge, but I do try to keep some of them on the shelf because um, as my father said, you can't sell from an empty cart and we do like to be the company that has the material on hand when you need it. Okay, so they're priced and sold per hinge. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. Uh, so be mindful of that. They're not per pair or per box or per case. Uh, most people think it's either a pair or a box of three. Uh, you know, this hinge is not sold in a box of three. Um, so let's do this. Let's switch to the screen view and let's start looking at all the supporting documentation. Talk a little bit more about where you'd use this. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here's the item that we are looking at. We're looking at the um, BB-852. We're actually looking at the application G because the A application isn't built in the site just yet, but it's going to look practically identical to this except that it'll say application A. Uh, but this image is accurate uh, out of the catalog. So actually speaking of images, let's take a look at uh, first the a technical drawing that the factory has provided us. As you can see, it's a full surface hinge. The way that those leaves are bent, in the sense that they're not bent, um, makes it a full surface hinge. So that is going to be appropriate when you are installing something that has no inset. So imagine if one side was the frame and the other, or the jam, the post, the other side was the door or gate or whatever it is. Um, when those two are flush with each other, there's no inset. Um, that would be appropriate for this type of application. An inset would look in a typical door frame application. The inset is the dimension from the face of the frame to the face of the door. This dimension. There isn't always an inset. Many times there is not. Uh, many times there is. Uh, aluminum storefront can have an inset and sometimes it doesn't. Hollow metal always has an inset. Um, steel doors, steel frames. Wood doors, wood frames. That can, in residential applications, that can very typically not have an inset at all. But since this hinge is so unusual, um, you're, you'll need to simply understand this, when you attach this hinge, it's not going to provide you to have any type of inset. Um, to it whatsoever. So when you're designing your item, you're doing a full, a true full surface, uh, just like this, as shown here. So let's take a look at just a series of photos of this hinge that used to, stay, that used to say Stanley once upon a time. Just a close up of the barrel 
assembly. That's a service point there. I think we'll talk about that more in a moment. That's what the hinge looks like. What might be a cross-section view. The back side of the hinge. Then the box. Actually, there's one more image I'd like to show you. Uh, before I get to the last three images, here's the label. Uh, okay, now just a couple of random boxes uh, to show what the door and jam would look like in the closed position uh, at 90 degree. And then at 180 degree, just to put some perspective, I suppose, on what that hinged leaf looks like. There we go. Um, okay, so some supporting documentation down below. Let's take a look at some of that. We've got all of this data here is coming right out of the catalog. So we'll look at that just at one time. This chart also comes out of the catalog and is a great place to start to look at what it is that we are uh, considering. So BB-852s, they can make these for different applications. Basically, you've got A, application A, and B, C, D, E, F, and G. So A, full surface, B, full surface. They are the same hinge, except that the B has holes for fasteners. Uh, there are full mortise applications, C, D, and E, where you're going to swag those hinges as you would a normal butt hinge, a normal full mortise butt hinge. And you can really see that quite well here, how this leaf is bent right here and here. Whereas on the back side here, it has no such feature to it. I mean, it's literally manufactured in a way where the hinge leaves are, are shaped quite differently. And it's obvious when you look at this. But they can do the swagging on these leaves to accommodate different requirements. They can suck that in close so that there's an eighth of an inch between the two leaves. They can make it so that there's far more than that dimension, and in fact, seven eighths, depending on how you're going to apply it. And then you can do something unusual, like what they're showing here. We're likely going to need to define that information from the, uh, to the factory. Uh, a full mortise hinge like this, you can probably suffer an inset to a certain degree. Then you have half mortise, and that means that the leaf to the jam would typically be, would, would always be in the mortised position. It wouldn't be surface mounted at all. So you know when you look at half mortise that the leaf to the door is the opposite of the word used in the title. That would be surface. Mortise and surface, surface and mortise. When they say the word in the title, mortise or surface, that always applies to the jam. And as I said initially, the door is the opposite. Um, term that's used. Uh, you know, memorize that or don't. If, and if you don't use the terminology enough, you can always refer back to the catalog. It's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's here. It's not that can you memorize it, but can you find where the information is located and then pull it out. So we're dealing with an application A. It's the most garden variety version of this hinge. Um, if, if such a term applies to a $300, $400 hinge, so this chart is here. It's a quick little screen grab out of the product catalog, which we'll look at here. Uh, this is an overview of all of their detention hardware. And that is indeed the catalog that this comes out of. And I'm pointing this out to you just for you to be able to know where it is, to review it, and to be able to look at the other products that Stanley offers. And here's our BB-852. Uh, they do make a, a uh, lighter version of this, the BB-855. And, um, yeah, like a, what they would call a double weight version of all of this. It's The difference between the BB-855 and the BB-852 is its weight capacity. The 55 is a far lighter duty if calling something 800 pounds is far lighter. Uh, our item is here. For doors weighing up to 2,000 pounds. And yes, occasionally we get someone who calls and says, I have a 2,000 pound gate or I have a 1,500 pound gate. What can you sell me to, to hang it? Well, here's an option. And here's a series of, of ways that it can be applied. 
So where back to the idea of other instances of where you would use it. The idea is when you have something obscenely heavy and you are going to mechanically fasten or weld a hinge, the BB-852 could be a candidate. For lead line doors to x-ray rooms and extremely heavy doors and gates, for hinged cell front doors and graded steel doors of penitentiaries, jails, reformatories, made of triple weight. Um, they don't tell us the th leaf thickness of this. I think it's about 3 eighths. Let me put the caliper on the leaf and tell you what. Well, if it's, yeah, if it's triple weight, I would say that that would be accurate because standard weight would be basically, basically a hundred and uh, basically an eighth of an inch. It's really 134,000, so triple weight, that same logic would tell us it would be three times 0.134, and this indeed measures 0.39 inch. So yes, triple, there's there's residential weight, standard weight, heavy weight, um, and then, and well, obviously what they're calling over here double weight, which is likely 260 some thousands, and then triple weight. Um, Three, uh, point three hundred ninety thousandths, or point three nine inch. So an eight, so three eighths of an inch is your leaf thickness on this hinge. Um, each of the two concealed hardened steel races contains sixteen three sixteenths hardened and ground steel balls, which are assembled within the jacket here. Provision has been made of uh, in the barrel of the hinge for forced lubrication if necessary. Lubrication in the future is required. Typically made not swagged, application A, which is a full surface application, or full mortise, application C. It can be done in that way as well. Um, when I And back to that image, if you recall that image of when the door was shown at 180 degrees, when you take an application A hinge and you fold it like we were showing here, that's seven eighths of an inch. So, in terms of it actually being application C, um, I'm tempted to say that A's and, and C's are the same hinge. Um, I don't know that that's the case, and I'm going to ask technical support to clarify that. And I will obtain uh, the answer. To whether or not A and C are identical hinges, I would I would personally like to know. Um, it's you know I don't want to assume that they're the same. They you know this drawing which is not to scale and doesn't you know it's not really a proper drawing in the sense that it doesn't have every technical detail clarified. Uh, but we'll find out, and I will um, I'll know that in the future, and likely update that answer. So. Here's how to order the hinge or how to expect it. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, it's an 852 and it's, then you determine what application you need. The size um, is always the same. The, uh, they say the gauge of the metal is always 3 eighths, so that leads me to believe that, yeah, A and C are identical hinges. Uh, pin diameter, quantity per carton, they do stick to in a box, they're priced per hinge. As we continue to scroll through the detention hardware catalog, there are additional items that are seen here. Door stops, poles, security items. Um, there is also a cut sheet that is literally the one page that we stopped on and went over all of these details. Technical drawing, this is from the factory. This is obviously a document um, from the manufacturer. That it is in a that it is in the factory's native language, uh, where it's ma manufactured. Um, millimeters, metric is what this is all drawn in, and this is just this is an application G, but it's the same for application A because it's again the only difference is the holes or no holes. Drawing is this is more of a cut sheet uh, or a template. Uh, this does not. Now, yeah, for the application G we're looking at, this is actually a G because, again, the A is not built in the site. 
whatever document that we're going to have for this will be here. I don't believe they offer one for the application A beyond this, which is which will be posted there as well. Okay. That pretty much wraps up looking at this hinge. Now there is a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page where we can pull up not only all of the Stanley products we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website. There is a link to the product catalog that I use. This is a 2010 version of the catalog, but it is the good old fashioned Stanley catalog that I'm accustomed and familiar with. Um, and you know, the current catalog really hasn't changed. They haven't made any grand changes to the uh, offering of hinges uh, that they have, at least if they have, I've not heard of them, uh, ner heard of new hinges. Uh, and I'm, spe I'm not speaking about continuous, you know, aluminum geared or pin and barrel, but just straightforward institutional commercial builder's hardware type hinges. And I like this catalog because it is so positively full of encyclopedic data, as is all good catalogs. But the hinge manufacturers, and I can think of three of them off the top of my head, do an above average job. So if you're an architect, a specifier, a consultant, a distributor, um, if you are an installer, a general contractor, and we're all using the same language for hinges, if you are don't feel as if the terms raised barrel, swing clear, full mortise, uh, you know, security stud, if these are terms relating to hinge that you're not from hinges that you're not familiar with or comfortable with, well, here's the document. This is it. You'll be able to get everything you need out of here. Hinge uh, usage charts for weight, how to determine the width of a hinge whether it be a wide throw requirement or otherwise. Fastener types, uh, you know, just everything is in here. Finishes, uh, finish charts. This page shows you the different types of hinges. Full mortise, half mortise, half surface, swing clear, um, you know, and, and, ver and derivatives and variations on all that material. A great catalog to learn about hinges. And, uh, and there you go. So I use this old catalog, this older version, because it's what I'm more familiar with. Um, and there you go. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, so the bottom line is this video is really to give you a much closer look at these triple weight hinges. So we endeavor to keep some of this material about in stock on our shelf because it is not uncommon for us to get a call on a late Friday and someone says, yeah, I need to hang a uh, thousand pound gate. What? Yeah, we're doing the job in the morning. What do you got? Uh, not a time machine, which is what we need to find you the right hardware. So we do try to keep some of this really odd stuff. So of these BB-852s, I'll try to keep some some of the different applications on hand. Not a lot, but enough maybe to get one unit hung. We are also going to keep very unusual hinges in stock when it comes to pivots, Harman or pocket style hardware. Uh, back to the pivots. Pivots that can hang a 3,000 pound door. We'll have pocket or Harman type hinges. You bump into those and people need them last minute. We're going to keep 5x12 butt hinges. I actually have 5x12 wide throw hinges, which is the widest hinge that a manufacturer that I'm aware of will make without it being obscenely custom. But when you get to that 12 inch uh, width, the pivot point is 6 inches over, and that door is actually going to hit the jam if you're using a standard like an eighth of an inch margin with a three degree bevel. You'll have to you know, absolutely make an accommodation for that. Um, heavyweight hospital tip security stud. We'll try to have some of that laying around as well because we want to be able to um, be able to sell you something when you need it when we've not planned ahead. Uh, this detention hardware, yeah, it's obviously used in detention work. Detention work is its own universe. So we there's never going to be a detention company call us for these hinges, although it may happen. Um, it doesn't because those folks, everything is built per the construction documents. That type of industry supplies all that material 
builders hardware distributors like us like us we have access to that but we're not supplying anything to the detention industry um, someone's going to order hinges like this because they have a residential application and a 16 foot wide gate and they need something outrageously superior in terms of weight uh, handling capability so that's why we'll keep that stuff around we'll see how that turns out uh, Stanley is a name that's been synonymous with hardware like this since the mid 19th century the reason that they're called best now is that Dorma Caba um, owns best and if you know builders hardware you'll know best to be a lock manufacturer specifically a small format interchangeable core under Dorma Caba is also precision exit devices but Stanley hinges and now from what I understand Stanley permitted in the agreement the name the use of the name Stanley for so many years two years well that time has elapsed so now when you order Stanley hinges they're going to be called best and it was because of a licensing agreement that has expired same Stanley hinge same factory it's being manufactured in state same great fit and finish I'm a big fan of Stanley hinges um, I wish they were made in the United States they're not um, but neither is my iPhone and I love my iPhone so I'm not in 20 years that'll sound strange um, so country of origin is not really a measure of quality uh, it is a measure sometimes of lead time I suppose when you're dealing with a, a truly international type shipment where it's coming from the other side of the planet um, and other factors that relate to it I'm merely saying that it's not made in the United States with the uh, conclusion of bomber ceasing operations they haven't officially done that yet but they're getting to it we're now in the second quarter of the year 2022 they announced it about six months ago um, and um, they will have been the last manufacturer of American-made hinges moving forward Stanley's capability of being agreeable to uh, field custom requests from you is excellent I've asked them for stuff that's not in their catalog I don't think there's a time that they said no uh, there was one spring hinge that they just couldn't make uh, and then the client ended up telling me oh no I was able to order that and I says well send me some pictures because they told me they couldn't make it which he never produced so I don't believe that if if it's not in their catalog that doesn't mean Stanley's not willing to make it many other manufacturers are just not flexible like that it's not in our book we can't make it um, they do a really good job with that stuff and to them for that I appreciate any questions on this massive BB 852 which is just off camera or any other Stanley product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you again thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please click thumbs up please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know Thank you.